Hello and welcome back to Hot Dogs, Horseshoes and Hand Grenades. I'm CZ Survivor and today we're going to mess around with what you might classify as more support style weapons and tools. So, snipers and explosives variety. Now, just a quick thing, I have been messing around with my recording software and I'm now doing multiple audio tracks on output. This means if I ever need to tweak audio in editing, I can now separate voice from game sound. This will also help me when I'm doing streaming, which I'll eventually get around to. I wanted to do sooner, but a friend's ill and I kind of need him to stream this because I have no capable way of seeing chat whilst I'm in here without having to open up the Steam overlay, which you can't currently see, but that means the game is actually still running in hot dogs, horseshoes and angries. It doesn't pause, which means I could get killed whilst trying to read Steam chat and if I'm not paying attention, I could easily miss it. So, let's head over to the warehouse range, like so. I'll need you lot to tell me how the audio sounds. So, we're going to head over here. We've got a few weapons over there, one that we'll mess around with today, but we'll get, begin with the snipers, that's where we left off last time. And I say we begin with the lower calibre snipers. So we'll get ourselves a dragon off. Thanks wardrobe. Let's take a few steps over here. I've gone to the warehouse range, actually, for the snipers. Let's go to the range designed for the snipers. Hello, sniper range, where are you? You're still whip. The. Let me look for about some in my room. Okay. So, we have the big Barrett 50 cal there, but we don't want to mess around with a 50 cal yet. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. We want to go with a proper... Well, no, not proper. They're all proper snipers. We want to go with the weaker variety. Uh, let's put you there. You there. Oops. Uh, come on. There. I don't know if I've got these the right way around. And let's go for a little wander. Because, actually, we don't want a sniper up here. Oh, no, no, no. We want to get down to a proper spot to sniper. So, we're going to just go here. I'm going to try and sit down in my room. I don't have enough space to lie flat down. If I wanted to lie flat down, I'd have to face this way. As you can probably guess, yeah, it's not going to work due to my room. It's narrower this way, and unfortunately, well, yeah. I could redo the whole Steam VR setup, but I don't want to go through that. That was a mild pain. So, I'm going to sit down here, try and not... Ow! bang into the draw handles on my thing and we're going to head over here okay that seems pretty good only problem with this snipers do glitch into the floor a little we'll put you there go for my feet we'll send this out to a nice 35 meters go to distance okay now i can't remember which sniper scope goes on here i think it's this one yes good we're going to load the bolt action sniper first. We've got both varieties of sniper, bolt and semi here. Uh, we're at 35 meters. Oh wait, we can't. No, it's sniper. We can't change the zeroing, can we? I can't. Don't think we can. I think we can only change the magnification. So 35 meters. We shouldn't have too much drop, but compensate a little for it. Maybe want to increase the magnification just a tad. That's better. Hmm, decent. Ah, oh, but nothing is as satisfying as bolt pulling the bolt on a bolt action rifle. Close. We're getting closer to that centre target. We're not going to shoot too many bullets out of the bolt action. It's a little monotonous to fire. Ready my hands, please. Oh, that was terrible. Let's try that again. Let's shove this... Pro Actually, you know what? Melon. That was a disgrace. That's better. Right to bullets. 
thought we were getting to the end of it. So what is it? Is it five bullets in one? One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Okay. Let's make it six bullets. Oh no. The floor ain't properly aligned here. Uh, in you go. That's better. So six bullets. Oh, way too high. Come on. You're better than this. Oh, that's very close. A bit higher, tad bit higher, and a bit to the right. Uh, that's just my sway in my arms. No. Uh, four bullets left. Let's get the melon. I said, let's get the melon. Three bullets left. That's better. Let's pick off one of these bottles. Oh. And we're out, I think. Yep. Anywho, that sniper's boring. Let's get a semi-automatic rifle. Um, let's stick a scope on it. Oh, that's a higher magnification. Uh, we'll sit it. Six seems like a good one. Here we go. Russian style. So, safety off before we can cock it. I much prefer firing the disc rifle. And you know what? We'll clear the display as well. That was six shots that hit the target. Of which was a meh style. Let's pull. Let's just shoulder this a bit better. And... Clustering. But yeah, we can keep this up all day. Let's do a rapid fire. Not too bad, I have to say. Let's have another rapid fire. Let's clear the display again and let's do a proper rapid fire. Up onto the shoulder. I don't know, let's go up for a little higher magnification. Let's take this up to 24 and see how far we're zoomed in. As you can probably tell this is really, really finicky to line up. Let's load in the other shot. This could probably really do with me lying down, but hey. Let's clear display. Let's get nice and comfy. Gun don't float away because you're clipping into the floor. Again. As you can see, 24 times magnification is quite a lot of magnification, and if you don't know what that means, 24 times means every centimetre I move right, it's going to be magnified 24 times, which means 
your slightest breath, slightest twitching, your muscle, anything will throw you off. So, let's just check how long I've been recording for. Ten minutes. Um, okay, let's go get another gun. Uh, and let's get something a bit more higher caliber, let's say, and we'll go for a longer range scope. I think we'll throw that thing really far down and we'll pull out the 24 times scope on our final rifle, the anti-material rifle, aka the 50 BMG, otherwise known as the M107A1, in this case, 50 BMG. And I want to do something. You, come with me. You. Let's load it with some more interesting variety of rounds. Also, I do believe you can't holster the 50 BMG. Okay. I can't put it in one of them, because, well, yeah, it's pretty big. I'm annoyed that that stand doesn't work, but hey. Um, let's just put you there. Let's spawn the ammo spawner. Um, utility ammo spawner. Hello. Come to me. Just sit the 50 BMG. Uh, and of course we gotta go with the coolest one. Armor piercing incendiary rounds. Wait, they don't have armor piercing incendiary tracers. Let's get... What does that actually spawn the cop? What did that spawn? Hell if I know where that spawned. Let's try that again. 50 BMG. Oh no, it went back. Ah. A single shell. Let's load you. And we'll grab a tracer. All the different tipped rounds, as you can see. And you know what? Let's grab a... Full Metal Jacket is default. Let's just grab a regular incendiary as well. Blue tip. Okay. Lock that. Uh... Is there a way to hold the 50 BMG open? I can't remember. That's safety. There might not be a way to hold the 50 BMG. Oh! Okay. Uh, let's just take its clip and put it there. Let's head back here. Let's spin around and sit down. We'll put this on full scope as well. Clear you. Uh, we'll send you out to... 100 meters. That thing's getting pretty, pretty small. But we have a scope that can do up to 32 times magnification, which is nigh impossible to. Oh, that's going to be difficult. But anywho, let's just put you there. Let's load it with the. Oh, I forgot which ones these were. Silver tip. That is... I'm a piercing incendiary, I do believe. Let's fully load this magazine. Uh, I think one more. No, nope, one too many. No matter. In we go. Oh, so satisfying. Let's line up the target. Oh, safety. Sit there for 
a second. I just lob my magazine away. Um, to me. I can't remember what round that was. I'm actually not sure whether I loaded. S I loaded the silver tips, but I can't remember. Let's try actually shooting something a bit closer with these blue tips quickly before we start getting too far into the video and not doing what I was normally going to shoot. Let's try the final tips. I don't know whether these actually work. I think these were the armor piercing incendiary rounds by the color considering there's two colors on them. Let's fully load it. I can't tell. The tracers might, well, will, should work better at night. As that makes logical sense. I think we're full. Yep. In we go. Let's hit that box. Let's go to the other range. Uh, let's see how long we've been going for. Oh, 16 minutes. Okay, so we're halfway through and we've still got a bunch of stuff to go to. Uh, warehouse range. Thank you. Let's stand up. Ah, hello. Nice to meet you. Um, we'll be messing around with those in a second. Actually, do we have everything here? We do have everything here in the warehouse range. So, let's get ourselves a thumper. Let's get its proper name. M79 Thumper, your good old fashioned grenade launcher. Let's take a few steps back. Let's pick up said grenade launcher. Let's put grenades in here. Let's track you to there. Let's put you here. So, works pretty much like a break action shotgun does. If you know, so left on D-pad to unlock it, and then flick to pull it up, or allow your hand to float away because I'm in the wrong place in my room. Oh, yes, this area has a mild problem. The floor isn't really solid. So just below the surface, if you drop something that makes a noise, I've dropped stuff down there that just keep making noise and it's quite annoying because you can't actually get rid of them. I forgot what I dropped down there. It was something that just kept on rattling away. But anywho, let's go here. Thumper, load, flick, I flicked it before, we'll do it the old fashioned way, I think it's something, I don't know if it's me going wrong but, let's do that up, and, eh, oh, let's try that again, I wonder, are there any forms of other ammo for the thumper? I like how they move more than those. I'm guessing it put all the force vertically down, but that makes no sense. Also, why aren't they falling apart? Maybe those don't have a destruction physics on them yet. Spawner! Spawner, spawner, spawner! Come to me. No. Uh, get down there. Uh... What would, what would be its ammo supply? I don't know. Does it tell me in... Oops. Clicking buttons. Do, do, do. Support. Ordnance. Thumper. 40mm grenade. Uh, 40... S and W? No. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, no, 40 for Magnum, no, definitely not, I'm just curious then, I'm guessing we don't have different ammo types, which is sad because a grenade launcher can fire more than destructive rounds, it can fire signalling rounds, like a flare, or a smoke grenade, or other stuff, it can also probably fire incendiary grenades and stuff like that. High explosives. But it is satisfying to fire. 
much easier to fire by doing that, flicking, and I think doing this. Well, that's because it's a game. In real life, I'm sure it'd be more easier to do that. Also, I like how they have the what should be the um, there should be a cloth thing around here so you can hang it and it floats on your body. Not floats. You know what I mean. Brain, you're not functioning. Too many explosives. Surprisingly difficult to aim. Of course, I'm getting better. But anywho, let's throw that in the bin. Okay. Let's try something else. So, let's go over to the other explosives. How long have we been going? 20 minutes. Well, I guess this episode will finish in about 25. Seems about good. We got some good patriotic matches. But no. We'll get these. Now, these are strike anywhere matches. So, if we go like that. And we go like that. And we go... Now I'm going to find it very difficult to throw stuff because I don't have enough space. But if I keep throwing stuff this way, I will have enough space. So, yeah. so you heard that explode. So let's do another strike anywhere match. And you can also... It does correctly... Emulate... Oh. It correctly emulates the fuse in that if you put the, fuse, the fire right near the end of the fuse, it'll burn longer. If you put it right near the end, it'll... Well, as you saw, explode a little quicker than you'd expect. Well, not that you'd expect. You should know that it's going to explode pretty quick since you just lit the fuse really short. So, let's ignore the silly things. Also, oh, we lost one of the grenades. I'll have to restart. Let's get a cyber grenade. Sci-fi grenade, kind of like what was in Advanced Warfare. You can change the fuse. So, we can pull the pin. And this is set to 12 seconds. Cyber Grenade does do some funky stuff, as you can see. A big flashing light, big bleepy bleepy noise. 12 seconds is a surprisingly long time. And it explodes. Now, there is another way to detonate grenades. If we uh, turn this down a bit, we can pull the pin and we can click on the trackpad and the grenade will start because we pull. Well, let go of the um, retention clip. Basically, the way grenades work, that's the safety pin. You pull the safety pin out. When you let go of this, is a spring mechanism which allows the fuse to start burning. So, let's get some standard fragmentation grenades. What you've probably all seen, or seen in movies and stuff. Would like um, the German stick grenades, I've got what they're called, but... Yeah. And these have a fixed fuse, unlike the cyber grenades, because the cyber grenades are not real. Whee! Grenade away! And, of course, they are fragmentation grenades, so you see fraggy shrapnel parts. As it says, fragmentation. So, let's try a banana grenade. Because nothing's more authentic than an explosive banana. And we need to spawn in some other stuff. Utility. A flipso lighter. You saw this at the end of last episode. My left hand is not very good at this, but I got it. And if you've ever played Worms, you'll know how these function. Surprisingly long fuse, should have listened. Yes, it's a cluster grenade. You can also put a lit flippo match there, and you can do some very dangerously silly stuff. Like, um, let's get the last of this ordnance out of the way. Oh no, we did all the ordnance, we're just missing one other thing, but we'll get around to that in a bit. We'll get some bang snaps. Get the last of this silly stuff out of the way. Of course, this comes with all the other stuff. So we got some Roman candles. Now, let's just try something. If we put you there, and... No. Surprisingly difficult to... Aim. I'm trying to figure out how these clip into you. No. I want to do something entirely stupid, but it's not quite aiming how I like. Yeah. 
That way. No. 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 That way. Wrong way. You worthless piece of firework. Come on. Also, I am moving way too far over there. Oops, there. Last try. Oh, this ain't working. Uh, that'll do. Don't need that. And yes, you probably guessed what I was trying to do. Uh, no! No! Yes! No! <laughs> too hard there. Let's just have a look. Control is not damaged. Ah, I don't care about the wardrobe. Let's just try that one more time. Just for fun. So I think the Roman candle A burns a little longer. Uh, let's light it a little closer. Like a bazooka. Wow, that fireworks are all overized. Definitely not dangerous whatsoever. Oh. Flip so go over there. Looks like a light source as well. Let's get the snap bangs. Yes, you've probably seen these in real life. Probably used them. I've used them once in real life. If I remember correctly, they're really fun. But really pathetic explosives. Now we're going to do something a little silly here. So I'm just going to get a few here. May have figured out what this buffoon's trying to do here. Don't roll away, please. Let's try and go for a mass explosion. I'm sure this ain't dangerous whatsoever. Does that actually deplete is my question. I don't think it should. I think the point of these is it's an ammo spawner. Or in this case it's... Oi! That exploded another one I'm pretty sure. Not really creating the chave reaction like I wanted. Oh well. Uh, let's just see, is there anything else I'm missing off utility? Don't click the fan off my computer. Uh, targets. No, we'll leave that to another episode, I guess. We'll mess around with targets when we do melee, I guess. So, let's clean up this area. And finish off on the thing that I blew away. So, hello. Let's just check where I'm in my room. Over this way. Over that way. Yes, a hot dog. Can't eat it. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Can I? I can't spawn like it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did so, hit that like button. Got any comments, questions, drop them down in the comment section below. I'll answer where possible. New to the channel, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date. Stay well. Wait, stay well and survivor out. Wow, I made a mistake. You know what? Why we're here. Definitely not dangerous whatsoever. <laughs>